do it quietly? <laughs> right. They're here! They're here! Desperately to lead my lost brothers towards the light of the Lord. But I've failed us all. And now my brothers are mortal enemies. Why? For what? A woman? Gold? Yesterday, we were a family. Late August in 1864, and the murderous Yankee General William Tecumseh Sherman was marching through Georgia, burning everything in his path. Those were bitter days for my brothers and I. My father was dead, killed at Antietam. My mother and I were all alone, doing our best to run what was left of the family farm. Two years previously, I had left the seminary, giving up my religious studies to do my familial duty. Now, everything we held dear was about to burn, and our last hope was the Confederate forces defending the Chattahoochee River. Among those forces were my brothers, Thomas and Ray. Sappers, sir. They blew up the fortifications. Damn. Go, McCall. You got some hell waiting for you. Is this everyone? I got 20 men and shredded fortifications. Fuck his eight. Just great. Ready your rifles!
We'll wait here for another wave. But those who got through, those are yours, Sergeant. Sir, we have to tell headquarters. The enemy could have crossed the river, and my brother was there. You think this war's about your brother, McCall? Clear out those Yanks and secure that area, Sergeant. I'll expect a report. and tell them we're holding the flank and to counterattack the bridge. Sir? Damn it! Take cover! Sniper! Show yourselves, you cowardly sons of bitches! I don't have time for this! On, brother. I'll be there. Just, just hold on. Oh shit! Screw it. I'm not leaving my brother to die. He's punching through the left flank. We need to counterattack now. What are you thinking, McCall? Did you forget how to salute? O'Donnell. Sir, I'm asking for permission to lead the attack. Denied. Their cannons are holding the field. I'll head through the forest. Look, I know that your brother's defending the river, McCall, and I don't want you doing anything stupid. We're pulling back, making a tactical retreat. Return to your unit. Let him go, Captain. Sir. If you can reach the trenches, McCall, I'll hit him with everything I have. Sir. Yes, sir. Corporal Scott will go with you, McCall. Sir. Get your men, Corporal. Follow me. We're going for the trenches, sir. We gotta attack. Are you crazy? How are we gonna get past their defenses? They're tearing us to pieces. Well, if we can't go through them, let's go around them. I'm not running my men into a meat Smith, Joe McCall the end of their line. He wants to get himself killed, that's his prerogative. This way, sir. There'll be two less McCalls in this world, and that's fine by me. This is inside! That's all we got! 
Okay, now hold your charge until you see an opportunity. Maybe he wants us to get these goddamn trenches back. Damn right. Let's go, soldiers. Time to show these blue bellies the business end of our bayonets.
find out for yourself, you Yankee piece of shit. Thomas! Thomas! You're late. What? I rigged the bridge, but I can't blow it up, because then some bitches took our cannons and controlled the field. Once the main attack wave comes, we're done for. Barnesville, send more men. They won't make it on time. Look, here they come! Ray, take the other Gatlin gun! Yanks are getting too damn close. We can't wait any longer, Ray. I'm blowing up the bridge. Corporal! Wait. I'll go. But first, I'll silence these cannons. Hurry up. I'm almost out of ammo. Scott, follow me.
the riverbanks! Damn! Blow the cannons, quick! Damn bridge up. the damn bridge! Where are 
out of those goddamn reinforcements. <coughs> Is that O'Donnell? All by himself. That bastard Barnsby didn't send any goddamn men. Sergeant? I have new orders from Colonel Barnsby. He's calling for a general retreat. But we're holding the line. Why would he want us to back off now? We're moving to Jonesboro to reinforce our supply lines. If the Yankees cut us off there, Atlanta is lost. That's 50 miles away. You will obey orders, Sergeant, or you will suffer the consequences. Easy, O'Donnell. Our family's homestead is in harm's way, and I'll be damned before I let Sherman's army burn it to the ground. You have your orders. If you choose to disregard them, you will be charged as deserters. Are you threatening me? It ain't a threat, McCall. It's a promise. You tell Colonel Barnsby that we're taking leave to defend our family's homestead. And that we held the line. Right, now get the hell out of here before I take your firearm and shove it where the sun don't shine. Barnsby will put us in front of the firing squad. Only if he catches us, brother. Only if he catches us. War changes people. Lives are devastated and lost, and families are torn apart. A sacrifice is rarely worth the price. My brothers had to decide between the cause of the Confederacy and the lives of their family. When I saw them with our mother and heard that they had become deserters, I couldn't believe it. But I knew why they did it, for the family. Let's go. Look, they've slaughtered Jackson's cattle. Slaves? Uh, Yanks, probably. <laughs> nice trick. When did you find time to practice? While you were getting old? Yeah, <laughs> very funny. Can you repeat that trick, smartass? How you'll do with the Yankees. They heard us, that's for damn sure. Jackson. Come on, brother. We gotta hurry. 
Hey, you think our home was torched too? It's only a mile away. We better run! Come on! Did you hear that? No, we don't have time. Help! That's Jackson. I ain't leaving him to burn. All right, come on. Watch out! Mr. Jackson! No! Hold on. We'll get you out. Take that bucket, Thomas. Open it! Move aside. <laughs> what happened here, Mr. Jackson? These animals. They wanted to burn me alive. They killed all the cattle. Ah, ah, ah. No, soldiers. They took over your place, too, and threw themselves a party. And what do you mean, took over? What about our mother and William? I don't know what became of them, but there was a shootout. I heard it. Soldiers. Oh, my God. Well, we need to check these stables. This way. Just say that was a Yankee. Oh shit. That was an accident. Oh sure. You gonna stand there like a lump on a log? You put some weight on, brother. Come on, get up there. <gasps> Thank you, Junior. You coming or what? I bet they keep that in here. Let's see if maybe they have something that belongs to us. I don't like this. 
Gatlin! We need to go around. Come on, this way. Stay here, keep your trap shut. I don't like this, brother. Shoot! Find him! Shit! Where are they? Bellies want to smoke us out. That fire will push us toward their Gatlin gun. They'll cut us down like cordwood. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, you see that tree? You climb it, and you shoot that son of a bitch from up high. Mama didn't like us climbing this tree. We won't tell her, Thomas. Take that lasso. Climb the tree, and I'll try to keep him busy. Come on, you blind son of a bitch! That's right, you stupid son of a bitch. I got you in my sights. Hey, I saw your sister last week. That girl doesn't know how to say no. Bullseye. Who the hell taught you how to shoot? You got him! Hell, I'd say that was a lucky shot. <laughs> Brother, are you giving up the ghost or are you coming with?
More coming. Thanks, brother. Come on, you can do Let's get the horses. That's all, I guess. Roof's all shot to hell. The old lady and the boy die. You hear me? Shit. 
Go to the front balcony. We'll catch them in the crossfire. We just want to take them and go. No one else needs to die here today. You can go to hell. I ain't gonna ask again. Well, come on then. Come and get them. You coming? Come on! Let's see what you got! You coming? What are you doing here, Thomas? Why'd you two come back? Did you desert? Thomas? We didn't desert our family. And in this world, that's all that matters. Gotta sink that son bitch before it reaches shore. Uh.
channel him, Ray. We did it. We should bury Ma. We can't stay here for too long. You hear me, Ray? Ray? We'll rebuild it. After the war, we'll come back here, and this'll be our home again. stand for as a southerner and a gentleman. They violated a direct order. They deserted their unit because of men like them not doing their duty. Atlanta burned. Whether it's tomorrow or five years from tomorrow, those arrogant sons of bitches will hang. On April 9, 1865, the Confederate Army surrendered to the Union Army at Appomattox, ending the war between the states. The battle was not over for my brothers, however, as Colonel Barnsby had yet to put down his arms and was determined to see them hang. The three of us headed west to Fort Smith, Arkansas, a lawless town full of gamblers, drifters, and gunslingers, a place where people knew better than to ask questions. We still hope to rebuild our family farm someday, but for now, that was only a dream. For you see, the war had changed my brothers. They had become cold and violent men who took what they wanted without care or conscience. Nothing. We're just having a friendly disagreement. Why is this your business, little brother? Why is it my business? Because I don't want to get kicked out of another town. Well, I don't either. Especially since Thomas here might have a little one on the way. You go to hell. She was mine. Yours? Are you kidding me? What's this all about? Tell him, Tommy. Unless you already forgot her name. Which I doubt, since you just finished screwing her. Betsy ain't none of his business. Betsy? The Marshal's daughter? Are you out of your mind? Little Coquette kept flirting with me. If the Marshal finds out, he is gonna... Get your ass out of here with Cole! <laughs> I want to know which one of you animals touched my little girl. You! You! Sheriff. What the hell is wrong with you two? You act like the war never ended. And you can just take what you want. You know what? This time you caught the wrong son of a bitch. You tell me who did this to my daughter or I will gun down both of you. It was me. He's lying, Sheriff. I did it. Or maybe it was both of us. Oh, shut up, Ray. That girl does like a good time. You're the deputy marshal. You gotta keep your head here. This ain't your business, boy. Now I'm not the marshal. So let's go. 
Time to dance with the devil. Ray, Thomas, please, please, walk away. There ain't no walking away from this boy. One, two, three! They killed the marshal! They killed Ray! Right. Head for the saloon! William! Thomas! Take him! Ray! All right. Now we need to find some horses. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find some horses here. Whole town wants to string us up. I'm not the one who diddled his daughter. Let him come. Wanna buy or rob? Want some guns? It's a dead end. Let's go through the buildings, right? Cover me. Now your turn, big man. Open it. Don't you move, bitch. What the hell is wrong with you, brother? His bark is worse than his bite. You just relax now, darling. We'll be out of your hair in no time. Please don't hurt me! Shh. Look. There's a stagecoach. It's better than nothing. Can you get it over here? Look, 
We should just turn ourselves in. He drew on you first. It was self-defense. You think they gonna believe us? We turn ourselves in, and they gonna stretch our necks. Keep an eye out. When I get back, you jump on. the last of them. waiting for us. Brother. Oh. Oh. Damn, brother, 
save something. They gonna chase us, you know. It won't do them any good. We gotta do it together. Whoa! William, take the reins. I never handled this many horses. Horses are a lot like women. You just need to tell them what to do. Crack the whip and say go. Move it before they get us. Come on. They're gonna be waiting for us. They gave up. Take the horses, but leave that damn coffin. They won't catch us. Holy heaven, what have we done? It's not like we had a choice. You just killed a U.S. federal marshal. Don't you know they're gonna hunt you down to the ends of the earth? Then I say we go to Mexico. Sunshine and senoritas. Nothing wrong with that. Besides, I've heard tales of an Aztec treasure buried in the hills just outside of Juarez. Well, what about our plan? Rebuilding our family farm. Reclaiming our land. That's why I want the treasure, brother. Without gold, that plan is just a fantasy. We're never gonna settle down, are we? You're like mad dogs, tearing at each other's throats. By the way, brother, if you ever steal another woman away from me, I swear to God I will take your life. You understand me? Dear Lord, how do I free my brothers from Satan's embrace? What words do I use to convince them that the Lord loves and forgives them? Now we're on the run to Mexico. Ray is dragging us there to find a mythical treasure, for he believes we can use it to rebuild our family farm. I must continue to preach the truth and turn my brothers towards the light. Because when all is said and done, we are family.
running river said. War! Running river gathers a tribal council, but won't listen to our council. I don't need advice from old women who have forgotten how to fight. You say the treasure is cursed. I say it belonged to the ancient ones, our ancestors. And it is the source of power. It is the people of this land who were given the key to the secret place. So Running River will wage a war on the white man. He will use the sacred medallion to buy many rifles. Puma's paw asks, who will sell us these rifles? The whites? Perhaps we can ask them to shoot themselves as well. Puma's paw has no teeth anymore and meows like a kitten. In the south, where the treasure is hidden, live a people who hate the white coyotes as much as we do. They will sell us the weapons. It is beyond the mountains and across the great river. Who will venture on this journey? My son, Shajam, seen father. He speaks the language of the whites, as did his mother. My son, it is time for you to prove that you are one of us. By causing a war, which will bring annihilation upon our people? Seeing father deserves his name. And maybe he deserves to be called coward. Imbayabisha. No one, not even the great Apache chief running river, will call me a coward. Then prove your worth. Prove you're an Apache. Baand. All right, father. I will journey south and find someone to sell us these rifles. You will have your war. Running River does not respect the Creator or those who remember his childhood. He wants to take the medallion from its place of safety and bring the Life Giver's wrath down on his people. It won't be Running River who makes the sacrifice, but his tribe and his son, whom a paw has spoken. Running River has spoken. Prepare for war. Mexico. What a godforsaken land. Ray heard tales of a great Aztec treasure hidden in the foothills near the border town of Juarez. It was said to be cursed, and that all who seek it will find only madness. The locals call this greedy fever the Call of Juarez. Ray laughed off the curse and convinced Thomas that we could use this treasure to rebuild our life and our home back in Georgia. We were talking about this very subject in a little cantina near San Lorenzo when my brothers first laid eyes on her. She looked like an angel. Looks can be deceiving. of that treasure has attracted a shitload of lowlifes looking for easy money. Are you talking about us, little brother? Jesus. That treasure is nothing but a fairy tale. There's only one decent way for God-fearing people to make their fortune with hard work and sacrifice. Or we can find some rich son of a bitch and put a gun to his head. You're drunk. I'm getting there. Tomorrow we'll buy some equipment and start our search. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Right now, though, I just need a little more tequila and a woman of questionable moral character. Who the hell is that? 
hurry, little lady. Baboso. Mr. Devlin, I'd like to see you. What if I don't want to see him? He wants to see you today, senorita, in his bed, wearing nothing but a smile. Pendejo! <laughs> But he never buys a bear unless it's already broke in. So maybe I should take you for a ride and knock some of the fight out of you. You little whore! I think you piss these boys off. the sheriff. What do you think, brother? We let that asshole have his way with her? I think no fucking way. Brother, I think you're kind of sweet on that gal. Come on. What are you two getting yourselves into? And what does your god say about helping the helpless, hmm? Now get your ass back in the saloon and stay there. Just like me. Slow in the head? <laughs> no, no, brother. He's prideful. He's not gonna back down now. 
Not in front of his own men. Yeah! Found that! This carrot top some bitch is starting to piss me off. Maybe it's time we piss on him a little, hmm? <laughs> hey! William, what the hell you doing? Have you lost your mind? What did I just tell you? I'm going with you. You wanna die? It ain't safe here, brother. Find yourself some cover. <laughs> well, what the hell are you waiting for? You know what I've learned? That you are one irritating asshole. Ain't my fault you're so damn slow. That was a close call. He's still here. What the hell, boy? You gonna get us killed watching out for you? You're the ones that need looking after. Distract that son bitch and I'll flank him and take him out from the side. Shoot! Got him, brother. Come on! There's no time! It's only a woman, Ray. On my command. Now. Hey, how you know what you? What are you waiting for? Move! We're running out of time.
Wait with her. They're here. We'll Let meet by the go. church. I told you he won't run. I don't know where you two peckerheads are from, but is it really worth getting your asses shot off for some greaser's whore? You sorry assholes mess with the wrong son of a bitch. I'm wanted from Colorado to Texas, boys. I'm the one who killed that Texas Ranger in El Paso and the Jericho Kid in Abilene. They call me the Rattler, because that's how fast I am. The Rattler? Well, some bitch. So no one would blame you if you turned tail and ran. You killed the Jericho Kid? So you have heard of me? Nope. I'll kill you before you clear leather. You hear me? They took her to the church. I know the way. Quick, let's get over there before they find out. I never thought I'd live to see the day a woman gets you inside a church. Kill him! So wasted a lot of bullets. Don't mention it. Thanks. Where is he? What's are we doing? There they are. What are they doing? He didn't say I don't know, but if they leave, we won't find him. Maybe we should just go. We were supposed to get the girl to Devlin. I mean, I ain't got a clear shot. God damn it. Wait. If you want to piss Rattler off, you go right ahead. Gilmore. She's running to the church. Good girl. Let's take him out.
Who are you? Easy now. We won't let him hurt you. some dangerous enemies today, amigo. I am Juan Mendoza. Friends call me Juarez. Ray McCall. And these are my brothers, Thomas and William. Thanks for the help. No, thank you, amigo, for rescuing my beautiful Marisa. I'd like to invite you all to my Alcazar this evening for a little celebration. Sure. Why not? Excelente. It is not far from here. Just ask anyone. Everyone knows Juarez. Thanks, Ray. But next time, maybe you should ask us before agreeing to break bread with a bandit like that. They don't seem like such a bad sort. You trust them? I didn't say that. I don't know who you two are anymore. Juan Mendoza was the leader of the largest outlaw gang in Juarez. Everyone was afraid of him, even his beautiful Marissa. What worried me more was the way Ray looked at her, and Ray wasn't one to back down. Trouble was brewing, and I didn't know how to put a stop to it. Friends, I invited you here today because I have something that needs done, and I believe you are the men to do it. The gringos you gunned down work for a pendejo by the name of Devlin. This greedy bastard is blowing up every mountain south of the border, searching for a treasure that by all rights belongs to the people of Mexico. By people, you mean you. Why, of course. You want Devlin dead? Dead, missing, disappeared. I just want him gone. But to get to Devlin, you must first defeat his many hired guns. And you'll pay us for this, hmm? I will give you a share of the treasure. How you even know there is a treasure? It was the ransom for Montezuma, held hostage by Hernando Cortez. Aztec gold, emeralds, diamonds as big as your fist, riches beyond compare. That's just a fairy tale. No, mijo. 
It is real, very real, and it can be ours. Where is this Devlin? Ray, you can't be serious. You would be doing the people here a very great service. Devlin and his men have killed many innocents, women, children. My brothers do not need more blood on their hands. We all have blood on our hands, boy. You two will get dirty one day. Besides, who said anything about killing? It will be enough if Devlin and his men just go back to where they came from. Do we have a deal? I used every argument I could to dissuade them from this madness. But my brothers pointed out that Devlin was in fact an evil bastard who wouldn't be missed by anyone. Warris told us he was Irish born and made his fortune in Chicago. He's a thief and a cutthroat who takes what he wants, murdering settlers and prospectors for their lands and claims. But as evil as he is, it is not my brother's place to punish him. That is the Lord's work. Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. most annoying big brother on God's green earth, I tell you what. Some greeting. Come on, they'll be pissing their pants in a second. Kill 
They're here! The two Told you. First impressions are always the most important. Oh, shit. Let's send these sons of bitches running back to their mamas. Son of a bitch was mine. Pardon me for saving your ass. Want some ammo? Son of a bitch. He's got the whole town. Still got stuff on the more you got, the more you want. I want to see the blood suffering. It's not too much to ask, is it? what you called me away for? These two thugs? Sounds like a real asshole. You Devlin? Well, listen up. We're taking over your business. Now you take your boys and your toys, and you get the hell out of town. Any questions? When I heard you gunned down Rattler, I considered offering you two a job. But now that we've met, I can see that wouldn't work. You two clearly have an attitude problem. Throw them off the stairs, boys. I'm not sure we made a good first impression.
you see them anywhere? No. Who the hell are they? On my signal. I'll jump over to that landing and open it from the other side. Cover me. Okay, but don't take all day. Okay? Yeah, but this thing won't budge. The son bitch bought some time. Oh, stop your whining. Go above and I'll go below, through the mine. Now you find the bastard and I'll find you. I miss you already.
Yeah, run, you some bitch. We're coming for you. What the ah, hell? Ah! Now that's what I call a grand entrance. I think you blowed up half of San Lorenzo. You sons of bitches wanted to bury me alive. Seen Devlin? Just the dust he was running so fast. Straight and down. <laughs> Cause I was on his trail. Let's get him. These are his horses. He had to go up. I see him. You don't gotta shoot each son bitch five times. Bullets cost money, brother. I'd rather waste more of mine if I can avoid catching some of theirs. You seen all this construction around here? Who the hell built this? I'm not sure it was Devlin. He's more the destructive type. Like us. No, brother. We are going to rebuild our house. Die, dog!
Protect me! What the hell am I paying you for? You bloody cowards! Kill them! Easy, Mr. Devlin. I know my job. You're the McCall brothers. I saw the wanted posters for you boys in Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. The infamous McCall brothers. I heard you were deserters. I'm not famous like you boys. I just kill for money. And you two both have a pretty good price on your head. Wasn't there a third brother? Or is that McCall more of a sister? Money. What? Whatever you want. I want you to shut your mouth is what I want. Who are you working for? Juarez? How much is he paying you? I'll pay you more. Ten times more. Just bring me his head and his little whore. Her I want alive. Oh, you won't be needing any one of the female persuasion. Not after I turn you into a Kelpie. No! Don't do it right! What the hell? What are you doing here? Do not violate the word of God, the fifth commandment. Thou shalt not kill. Well, it's a little late for that, little brother. Look around. Ray, please, for the love of God. Oh, where was your loving God at Shiloh, huh? At Gettysburg and Antietam? Ray, if you kill him, you'll be just like him. And you will burn for all eternity. Look, I've had just about enough of your fire and brimstone, boy. If what you say is true, it's too late for me anyway. It's not too late. It's not. When our Savior was nailed to the cross, there were two other men crucified alongside of him. Murderers. And he took one of them to heaven because that man repented. He begged for forgiveness. He was forgiven. The Lord forgave him? Yes. A cold-blooded murderer? Yes. Well, hell, that's good to know.
Ray is slowly succumbing to the darkness. I can see that Thomas, too, is drawn to the succubus. Why did we come to this evil place? I pressed them to leave, but my brothers have fallen under the thrall of the call of Juarez. It isn't just the gold they want, it's her. The way Ray looks at her fills my heart with fear. Though Thomas hasn't yet revealed his true feelings, I see the way she looks at him. I'm afraid what happened in Arkansas will happen here. Looted enough? We're partners now, Juan. Let's go. Amigos, it is good to see you again, and thank you for taking care of Devlin. Not an easy man to kill. Is that why you wanted to see us? To thank us? And to show you that I do not make idle promises, you soon will be rewarded for your efforts. So you think the treasure's in Devlin's mine? No. If we were to follow Devlin's method, we'd be searching for the next 300 years. I have a much more thoughtful approach. Amigos, I'd like you to meet someone. His name is Seeing Farther, and he seeks rifles. We will be aiding him in this endeavor. Now, what does any of this have to do with Aztec treasure? The Apaches have the medallion. Medallion? Si, sí, el medallón. The conquistador who hid the treasure? created a key, a medallion made of brass. Legend has it that he took it north for safekeeping, and that is the last anyone ever heard of him. Until now. A Mexican priest traded the medallion for his life many years ago. It holds great power and will reveal where the treasure is hidden. So why not just go get it yourself? You could use it to buy a whole damn arsenal. Because it is cursed and has caused no end of misery to my people, the Apache. Since when do Apaches have blue eyes? My mother was white, but my father is Running River, the great Apache chief. I am not a white dog. Amigo, easy. We're all friends here. You have three days to make up your minds. Where will you get the rifles? They will need hundreds. For savages such as these? So we headed north into the desolate lands of southern Arizona. Our goal was a gunrunner who promised to sell Juarez the rifles. The bandit leader brought his harlot but kept her close, and Ray's eyes never left her. I spoke often with Seeing Farther. He was curious about us whites and how we lived, and I was fascinated to hear of life among the savages. We set up camp in the hills outside of Tucson, and Juarez went alone to parley with his gunrunner. When he returned, everything had changed. The 
Things are getting complicated, gentlemen. Your gunrunner didn't show up? Yes, he's here. In jail. The Pinkertons were on his trail, and they finally caught up with him. The Pinkertons? Well, your friend must be somebody real special. Did they seize the weapons? Over 300 rifles. What now? Now, brother, we bust them out. Alone? Where are your brothers, Ray? What do we need them for? We don't. Would you like to walk with me? I need to fill this skin with water. Yeah, those babbling brooks here in Arizona can be mighty dangerous, eh? Wouldn't want a big old snake slithering up your skirt. How big? <laughs> You should smile more often. I would if I had a reason to. And what if I could give you one? I can protect you, you know. Really? Yeah. And I can get you what you want. What is it you think I want? The medallion. You could take it from Juarez? <laughs> I can take anything from anyone. And you would do this for me? I would do it for us. the guy and get out. Shouldn't be a problem. I don't know, Ray. We may be ready for us. <laughs> They'll never be ready for us, brother. horses pretty soon. Don't, you getting don't, don't, tired? Don't. I will if we gotta walk the rest of the way because we killed the damn horses. Murderers. Take my hand. <laughs> Getting close. It's too quiet. You don't gotta shoot it. Bullets cost money. I'd rather waste more of mine if I can avoid catching some of theirs. Russia. Shit, it's 
closed. These bars are rusty as hell. A strong horse will pull them free. Take cover! Get inside, quick. On my command. Now! I almost feel sorry for them dead son bitches. Really? No. Shit! It's closed. Look for the key! Hell, the I got him! We'll bring him with, and let's get the hell out of here! The asshole's not here. Come on, let's move it. See that tower? Maybe you'll see something from up top. Nice shot, big brother. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Close call. Let me give you a hand up. Bolt your doors. Shit, it's closed. I'll go through that building. You take cover. Oh, they're here! Die, you bastard! They're here! Ah! Get the 
Go, brother. Oh, what's wrong with a man liking what he does for a living? <laughs> Sharpshooter. Take him out, I'm covering you. Kill him! <laughs> Shit, there's more! Go, go, go! Kidding me? That <laughs> sucker was <laughs> dead before he hit the dirt. Okay, brother, get up there. But just don't die up there, you hear me? Well, those guys seem kind of pissed. They're here! Watch your ammo! Cover me! in the saloon. There's guards on the roof and the street's clear. We can get to the main road through that building. Another one. 
Get inside now. I'm unarmed. Don't kill me. Shit, it's closed. Right. What's wrong with you people? There's only two of these assholes. I'll pay 200 a head, 400 bucks for these sons of bitches dead. Hurry. <laughs> Gatlin gun. Take him out. I'm covering you. It's an ambush! Yeah. 
Get ready! Ow. says you owe him some rifles. You lead us to him, and you may just live. Tell hell freezes over us, or take a chance. You feeling lucky? your mouth and let me do the thing. Oh, is that what you've been doing? Thank you. Dynamite! Come on, I'm good. Ah! 
Who's hardly challenged? so hard get on we should get out of here while the getting's good a lot of good men at risk to get you out. I don't want a war with the Pinkertons. What are you saying? You don't want the guns? I'm saying we need to renegotiate. And if I refuse? Then I take my men and go! In point of fact, they are my men. What are you talking about, amigo? The McCall brothers. I am their commanding officer. The war is over, Colonel. The McCalls are my men now. Do you or do you not want to renegotiate? preach to them the less they listen. They were outlaws now and they didn't want my judgment. There was no longer any talk about rebuilding our home or our farm back in Georgia. As we waited for Juarez to return, the time dragged endlessly. Finally Ray boasted of Marissa's promise to run away with him if he could get the medallion. He said he was taking the gold and the girl and that no one would stand in his way. Thomas didn't say a single word. But I saw the fire in his eyes. He rode off in silence. Ray had no idea where he was going. But I did. Were you gonna tell me? You shouldn't be in here. If the men see... Do you think I wouldn't find out? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You sold yourself to Ray for the gold. I didn't sell myself to anyone. He said he wanted the medallion, so I told him to take it. For himself? Or for you? For both of us. All of us. And what about Juarez? Ray said he would kill him. He's not the only McCall who knows how to handle a gun. But I don't want you to fight, Juan. I don't want you to get hurt. But it's okay if Ray gets hurt. I'm not in love with Ray. Thank you. 
Want some guns? Lost and found. You done with it? Don't worry about me. It's time to talk to Mendoza and his amigo, the smuggler. You sure about that? Let's go. Mendoza said to lay low for a little longer. You attracted a lot of attention. I've had enough laying low. Hold your horses, Ray. Can't hurt to stay in hiding for a little bit. Well, fine, little brother. Let's hide then. At their hideout. You are one impatient son bitch. Looking for Juarez. That's the boss. I know that some bitch from somewhere. Hey. We're looking for Juarez. Did he pull out? Mr. Mendoza has decided to continue his journey with him. Barnsby? He didn't like the idea at first, but I convinced him it would be in his best interest to leave you two behind. Ray and Thomas McCall. I made a blood oath on the flag of the Confederacy that I would hunt down every deserter who fled my command. Because of cowards like you, Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. Meanwhile, subhuman animals are now free to live among decent Christian folk. Free to do whatever they want. Fornication with our women. Misogynation. Colonel, you will pay your betrayal. You will die a coward's death, and you will burn in hell for all eternity!
Colonel Jeremy Barnsby never laid down his arms when the Confederacy surrendered. He raised an army of disaffected Southern soldiers who weren't yet ready to admit defeat. He led his men west through Arkansas and Oklahoma, where they robbed banks and trains and hijacked supply convoys. Hounded by the U.S. Army, they were driven south to Mexico, crossing back and forth across the border, continuing to fight a war that had ended years before. Hunted down by the Pinkertons, Barnsby was captured in Arizona. He was awaiting extradition when my brothers unwittingly liberated him. I'll ask again, why does Juarez need the weapons? There's three of you, so if I beat one of you to death, it's really not a problem for me. It's payment! For what? The medallion. Please, don't hit him anymore. William! He's gonna kill him, Ray! What medallion? Look, there's a legend about lost gold hidden in the hills outside Juarez. I've heard of it. What of it? The medallion is the key to finding the treasure. Juarez is exchanging the rifles for the medallion. My rifles? Yes, sir. But they're useless. He paid almost nothing because they're worth almost nothing. Who would trade for rusted old rifles that aren't worth spit? Apaches. Juarez is swindling them. Is that where he's headed? Apache territory. Yes, northern Arizona. They have a guide. Good. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Hang him high. What about the boy? He needs to hang, too. For aiding and abetting traitors to our glorious cause. How did you know? Those rifles were useless. Who told you that? Me. Soleil Malone. You? Well, that's interesting. And who told you? Can any of y'all move? <laughs> me? No, they tied me tight. You see that saw? Cut your binds and untie us quick. But I don't know if I can... Easy, brother. You can do it. All right, now us. Come on, come on, hurry up. Someone's coming. Ready. Someone's coming. Take the chair, it's the only weapon here. Son of a bitch, they're breaking out! Thank you, Lord. When in fear, God is dear. What now? Let's look around. You look around. Oh, brother, you jump and climb like a damn mountain lion. Me, I prefer firmer ground. You see a road? Yeah, downhill. <sighs> Great. Just don't expect me to do any running. Careful. 
Go around him. See ya. You want me get to get there. into one of those Help. death traps? Slowly. at last. Together. Home three. Now! Cut your face, coward! Feel sorry for the Really? No, are you kidding me? You yellow belly! Get ready! It's a drawbridge. Try to get over there and lower it. Cover me. like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. How about this time you shut your mouth and let me do the thing? Oh, is that what you've been doing? Thank you. Look out! Oh, this better be the end. On my command. Stuck. I'll look around. There's an elevator. Let's use it. 
Get him. Well, fine, but I don't like this. Well, those guys seem kind of pissed. somewhere up there. Someone will have to trigger it. I guess someone means me. I'm sorry, brother, but I'm just not too good with heights. Well, you're gonna have to learn, because as soon as that elevator starts up, you and William gotta be inside it. Stay here and cover my ass. I'm gonna do a little jumping and climbing. Well, how the hell are you planning on getting down? I'll find a way. You got any better ideas? All right, go. But I'm saying right now, I don't like this. Come on, William. William, why didn't you tell me what Mendoza had planned? Thomas asked me to keep it quiet. He said you talk too much. <laughs> Someone is not being frank here. You're turning yellow. <laughs> Barely even see that song, bitch. Here it goes. Get inside, William. Lord, be merciful with us. Finish him! 
Oh, Jesus. Everybody's still breathing. I'm out of this coffin. Hell, they didn't even clear the damn hole. Too hard to beat. Careful. Oh, the fastest thing on you is your mouth. At least I hit what I'm aiming at. Horses. Look at those beauties. Yeah, and the best part is, they're on the damn ground. Let's take them and get out of here. There's too many of them. We gotta divide and conquer. Now! Well, we almost got all of them. Close only counts in horseshoes. Maybe they're too far away. This has got to be the highest goddamn mountain I ever rode down. You gotta admit, though, it's a hell of a view. Gather the men, Sergeant. We should catch up with them by day's end, sir. I don't want to catch them, Sergeant. I want to follow them. To the Apaches? To that medallion. The riches it promises could help us to resurrect the Confederacy. We could raise a great army and break free from the tyranny of Washington, D.C. The carpetbaggers will be driven from our land Darkies will be back in bondage. We tracked down Juarez and I expected violence. But he told us that he had no idea that the colonel wanted us dead. He claimed that Barnsby lied to him as well. I'm not sure my brothers believed him. But then they never really trusted him in the first place. Besides, Juarez had the girl and was leading us to the medallion. It served Ray's purpose to keep the peace. As we continued on our way, there was a tense silence. The whole situation made my skin crawl. Seeing Farther was the only one I could talk to. And then one night he just up and disappeared. We had no choice but to continue on without him. Deeper into a wilderness few white men had ever seen. No trace. It doesn't make sense. 
Maybe he went to take a piece in the Comanches got him. If that was the case, we'd already be dead. Come on, let's go. If he's still alive, he'll catch up with us. Go where? You know how to find that Apache village? To the huge weeping rock. That's what he told me. That's where the Apaches are. You see, we'll find it. You probably can see it for miles. Let's take a look around. Still waiting, brother. For what? You didn't tell me how you knew about the rifles. You talk too much. Yeah, well, you talk too little. Look. The Weeping Rock. That's gotta be it. But we gonna have to go around those hills. Well, let's go. But we'll get back to our conversation later, brother. the river. I guess we don't need your half-breed anymore. Mount up and keep your eyes open. Stay close to the wagons. Say you can't see a redskin until he cuts your throat. No, no, no. They don't cut throats. They scalp. They Pendejo, cut. Don't move away from the wagons. You want an arrow in the back of me? Go. Crack skulls open. Catch it. What are you trying to do? You scare me? I'm not trying, Pancho. Succeeding. Men can't tell the difference between a man and a bird. I'm telling you, they're here. I can smell him. And I can smell someone pissing their pants. Amigo, calm down. It's better to be careful. Vamonos, let's go! I didn't say the word. I said that someone pissed his pants, and I was right. Come back, you pendejo. The bastard's going to bring back his whole tribe. Mount up! Move! We better find a way over the river. Come back here! 
Don't do it again. Move! You're blocking the road! Not so quick. Where's the second wagon? I don't know. It raced across the river. Maybe your brother Paddy. And maybe they were carried away by the horses. We gotta follow them. You go on alone while we push the wagon out. Move! We better split up! 
Say William, I'll follow the girl. We'll meet at the wagon. Now don't you let me down, Thomas. Go left. Go left. William? William! Thomas will find her. We'll meet up at the wagon. Just follow me and do what I say. Quick! Follow me. Keep close. Redskins took the wagon. Come on! And Thomas? We're, we were supposed to wait here. There's no time. We'll find them. Okay, we can go. Quiet. Are you? Maybe. You don't need to be. Right now, Juarez needs me and Ray. Whatever happens, you know I'll protect you. I think she already has a good protector. Now, I warned you, brother. Don't you let me down. Ray? What you doing here? You left the wagon? No, the Comanches took it. So we can go back to Mendoza? Yeah, but what for? For the rifles. The Apaches will trade us the medallion for them, remember? Ah, those rifles. You mean the ones we don't have. All right, let's go.
Oh my god! Hi! And the road's clear. Like my men. You two are tough. It's the second time you rescue my Marisa, and I go and take you for Comanche. Where is my wagon? The Comanches took it. Maybe they'll leave us alone now. Listen, friend. I'm grateful that you saved my woman. But now we need to save the wagon. There's 100 rifles on it. Oh, shit. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Mount up, amigos. At least they won't bother covering their tracks. Get a move on!
Got him now. They don't seem too worried. You see that rock over there? You climb up there and I'll flush them out. And we'll see how worried they are then. All right, let's take that wagon. Go right. Grab that Gatling gun! They stopped. What the hell? Why aren't they chasing us? Look around, amigo. Weeping Rock. See, si, amigo. This is Apache territory. Those Comanche don't need another enemy. No, amigo. I think your god is watching over us. We made it through Comanche territory, and yet we still have our scouts. Of course he's watching over us. He loves us. All of us. Even you. There are no evil men. Only evil deeds. Evil depends on your point of view. The savages here see us as white devils. Yet, because we bring them rifles, they welcome us with open arms. Easy. Sink farther. Tell your brothers we are not enemies. We have your weapons, your rifles. There will be no deal, Snake Tongue. You tried to trick us. This weapon does not work. One rifle, one of 300. None of them work. No, this isn't necessary. Paki hole. Kill them all. No, father. This is the young shaman who warned me of their treachery. That little bastard. Father, please. The young shaman is my friend. He betrayed his own kind to protect our people. And for this, what should his reward be? Their lives. Please, 
spare their lives. The young shaman's heart is so big it covers his eyes. But as he's seeing father's friend, I will do as he wishes. The great Apache war chief, Running River, spares your lives. Leave our land. We will take your horses, your weapons, and your wagons as ransom. And the woman. What? Running River wants your woman. Juan. As you're the only one Juan. who knew of the rifles. No. You're the only one who could have betrayed. Juan. Take her. Beat her. Juan. Enjoy her. For she is a lying whore, and that is all she's good for. The young shaman and his kin can stay in our camp and rest their horses, but they should not expect a warm welcome. Hounded by the army and pushed from their traditional lands, the Apaches hid out in the high mountains of northern Arizona and scratched out a meager existence. They naturally distrusted us whites. My brother's cold and angry dispositions didn't help any. Ray didn't like the way the young braves looked at Marissa. He was restless and on edge, and I was afraid that at any moment he might blow. I wanted to go before there was bloodshed. But seeing Father wanted to speak to us alone. About what, I wasn't sure. But I suspected that none of it would come to any good. I know why you're here and what you want. The medallion. I can help you. Why would you want to help us get the medallion? My father wants to use it to buy weapons for a war against the White Eyes. What will the fate of our people be if he succeeds? The Apache will be no more. So you just gonna go fetch it for us? No. But I will show you where it is. You don't have the medallion here? The medallion is cursed. As I have told you before, our ancestors took it from a Mexican priest in return for his life. Soon after, a great sickness ravaged our village. Many died. One of the survivors traded it to the Navajo for food, and the Navajo too were ravaged by sickness. Their medicine man saw that the medallion had dark power. He drowned it in a lake high in the mountains. His people guard it to this day. So, Running River was trading a medallion he didn't even have? He intended to show you its resting place. He hoped it would bring bad medicine to you as well. And in the process, bring hell down on the Navajo? We are sworn enemies. <laughs> well, that's pretty cagey. Two dead enemies for the price of one. How do we know you're not sending us to die in those mountains, too? Because I am going with you. For without my help, you would not find it. Partner, I hope you're not bullshitting us. Because if this is some lying Apache trick, it'll be the last one you ever pull. I hate boats. I hate... Would you stop your whining? Jesus. The fact you hate water is pretty damn obvious. You smell like the inside of an old boot. It like you smell any better. You both smell bad. Your stink almost covered up the smoke. Smoke? Where? Here. Everywhere. We're in Navajo territory. The village has to be close. 
Hey, you didn't say nothing? What were you waiting for? An arrow in the back? The Navajo have mainly rifles now. What? If the village is close, we will see some lookouts. Watch the shore. Here they are, on the left-hand side. Do not let anyone get away or they will tell the village we are here. Get them all! That's all, I guess. Tell me, Chief. So that medallion's on the bottom of the lake? Yes. Somewhere high in the mountains. Oh, great. So, why are we going to the village? We go where the spirit of the Greg Hilti leads us. Spirit of the what? There. Well, son of a bitch. Are you telling me that we are being led by a damn dog? The Grey Coyote. The spirit of my great-grandfather, who sold the medallion to the Navajo. He wants us to go through the village. Let's go. Nice and quiet. Keep close. Come and look. Your furry grandpa tell you that? You hear that? It's coming from the mountains. We have to take the path of the dead. Okay, but I don't like the sound of that. It's where the Navajo lay their dead to rest. We'll go to the burial ground, but we must stay silent so as not to awaken any dark spirits. Follow me. Oh, you scared of ghosts, brother. I'm more worried about the live ones. Let me give you a hand up. It's too quiet. Wait here. Watch out! Oh, they spotted us. Hurry! We must get to the path of the dead! Where did they all come from?
bitches just keep on a coming. It's an ambush. We have to stop them or they will see where we're headed. See those rocks, Ray? Maybe you can drop a couple on their heads. Cover me! Now! They're behind the rocks. Let's make those yellow bellies sorry they were ever born. Come on! Let's unload some lead on these pecker heads. Go, go, go! We have to cross the Navajo burial ground. Two's hardly a chance. What now, Chief? Where'd your grandpa go? Chase down a squirrel? The Grey Coyote showed us the lake and the dam. He's telling us something. Telling us what? We must discover his meaning. All right. In the meantime, let's find another way. Let us get closer to the dam. We can go by way of the riverbed. Lead the way. Damn, the river. He's telling us something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad I don't speak coyote. Oh, there's always something. This tree's barely standing. We'll push it over and make ourselves a bridge. Give me a hand. Nice job pitching in there, brother. As usual. What? Well, come on. You let me do all the pushing. Well, hell, you're the one with the muscles. It's too quiet. From the front! <laughs> Hell now. You expect me to climb this? We'll go around this way. This trail leads to the lake. Is 
that a campfire? Smoke signals. They are warning the other villages. We must hurry before more come. I think we're already here. Thank all the friends are starting to pay off. Assholes must have a death wish. This is the place where the Navajo drowned the medallion. We must swim down to the bottom and find it. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Whose idea is this? Your grandma, the horny toad? I tell you right now, there's no way in hell. How are we even gonna find it? Grey Coyote showed us to the lake and the dam. Dam? Damn! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's just blow this some bitch. If that medallion's down there, we'll find it. Hurry! The Navajo are coming! Let's go. This way. can blow it up. I think that's pretty damn clear. No, there is more. You see the shacks? Just like the ones at Devlin's camp. So what? It means that the Navajo didn't build this dam. Not alone, anyway. How about you stop your jawing and blow up the damn dam? I'm getting to it. Crazy, the fuses are already lit. We got one minute to waste them. Half a minute! Waiting for it. Move. Look. 
Look! The sacred place of the Navajo. That is where the medallion is. Well, let's get what we came here for. Why aren't they attacking us? Get ready, brother. This is a sacred place. They will not shed blood here. Well, hell, if they won't, we will. Take it out of the way. Stop, right? Navajo! Oh, for Christ's sake, let him take the goddamn medallion and help me out here. Hurry up, boy! Oh, shit, it's a little too soon for me to be taking another bath. Only through the dam can we escape. This is not the great coyote was trying to tell us! There's no other way, right? Come on! Still alive and clean as a whistle. They can shoot at me, they can set my damn ass on fire, but I fucking hate war. Well, boy, we owe your great granddaddy a big debt of gratitude. Boy, great grandfather doesn't want your gratitude. You are like two mad wolves. You've insulted the ancestors of the Navajo, 
and have violated their sacred place. For that, he will surely be punished. So this is what's gonna lead us to the treasure? Hand it over. Why do you get it? You two are not worthy. Your brothers will kill each other over this. It is you who should hold it. I will teach the young shaman its secret. Without his help, you will never find the treasure. What about the woman? We're not leaving without her. I'll lead the woman out. But, you must capture the attention of the braves guarding her. Wait, how do we do that? <laughs> People will always watch a fight. A fight? Why not? You're both here for the woman. A fight will determine who is the strongest, the most deserving of her affection. What the hell did he mean by that? The object everyone's been after, the very thing that caused so much pain and bloodshed, is now in my hands. Seeing farther told me its secret, and now I too carry the burden. It hangs from my neck like a millstone, and Ray gazes at it as lustfully as he does Marissa. Maybe it is better I hold it, otherwise my brothers would kill each other to possess it. I pray to the Almighty for our safe passage from this dangerous place. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. What did he mean by we're both here for the woman? I asked you a question. Don't push me, Ray. That girl's mine. Yeah? Well, what if she don't want you? She told me she did. Because she was hoping to kill Juarez. She'd say anything to be rid of him. You have a way with women, Thomas. No doubt about it. But not this time. This time, I'm the one who gets the girl. Who you think told me about Juarez's scheme? About them guns. Jesus Christ, open your eyes, Ray. You can't see the forest for the trees. How long has this been going on? Since the beginning. Why are you doing this to me, brother? It ain't about you, man. It's about me. It's about Marissa. What's going on? Who the hell's that? Barnsby. Oh! 
Here's a taste of hell! Cover me! Thomas, come here! Thomas! Christ! They're tearing me apart! See how long it takes. Unless we take out those cannons. I don't that much TNT. But I got enough to push some rocks down. Well, you and me, brother? Just like old times? I'm only doing this for them. Let's go.
Don't worry. Stop him. <laughs> Not for long. What are they waiting for? Chief, my name is Bonsby. Colonel in the second corps, the Army of Northern Virginia. I'm here for their medallion, and I will offer you a fair exchange. Hand it over right now, and I will give you back something that you hold dearly. Son of a bitch. He's got your son. I am already dead, father. Do not talk to them. You hand over that medallion or he will die. Right here, right now. Seen father is Apache. He will face death bravely. Look around you. Your village is gone. Your people are dead. Are you willing to sacrifice your last male heir? You ready to let your line, your tribe, your people die out? Let him go! Hausa! Let him go, and Running River will get you the medallion. No, Chief! I want it in my hands! Then I let him go. Understand? Running River understands. Good. I'll be waiting in the ghost settlement. You surely know where that is. You have until sundown tomorrow. Or your son dies. That medallion ain't where you think it is, Chief. What do you know of it? Where else would it be? Who would dare take it? Your son? Faith is my shield. I have repeated these words over and over, for they are all I have left. Job had never lost his faith, even though he lost everything he held dear. How can the Lord allow such evil to go unpunished? So much suffering and pain. <laughs> I hold tight to my faith, for my faith is my shield. Seen father was with William and Marissa. Uh, if he didn't make it to the waterfall, then maybe they didn't either. You think they're dead? <sighs> that would be my guess. And I think it's high time Colonel Barnsby met his maker. I couldn't agree more, brother. 
But, just so you know, when this is over, so are we. I don't ever want to see you again. Look at that ghost town. Wonder where all the people went. If there's anybody flesh and blood down there, we're in for a surprise. We better stay together. Yeah, you do what you do, and I'll do what I do. Did you hear that, Ray? Well, what do you know? The deserters found the sack to make it back to their old squad. You hear that? I think somebody ought to blow taps. You boys are as good as dead. That house there. Well, let's check. Cover me. Who are these assholes? Did you check upstairs? Get inside. They ain't here. Someone is playing hide and seek. Hey, you, McCall. How you gonna give me that medallion if you can't find me? Son of a bitch. It's coming from that shack. Should we say hello? Let's do it. Where the hell is that loud mouth, some bitch? Come over here!
I waited a long time for this day, gentlemen. I wouldn't have thought you were Indian lovers. But then you boys constantly surprise me. And now, the medallion, please. Come and get it! I understand you probably don't care if I kill this young brave. At least not as much as his father does. But mark my words, I'm getting that medallion. Even if I have to pry it out of your cold, dead hand. Kill them! I can't get to him! I'll climb higher! Cover me! Ooh. piece of unfinished business left. You're talking about yourself, O'Donnell? I knew this day had come, McCall. And this time, you ain't getting away. You and me, in the square. Or what? You're not afraid of me, are you? How about we sweeten the pot? If you win, I give you the Indian. If you lose, I take the medallion. You're a lying bastard, O'Donnell. <laughs> you want it just as much as I do, McCall. You and me, mano a mano. Fair deal, fair fight. How come you're in such a hurry to die? Now, it will be one-on-one. -on -one. Fair deal. Their fight. Okay, let's see what you got. Your Indian? That lying son of a bitch! Seen father. My son! No! 
not my son. My son. You stay with him. We'll make sure that son of a bitch pays. I'll bury you, Barnsby. Gun. I'll draw fire and you sneak up on them. Gentlemen, ah. you're a disgrace and a coward. You betrayed your country and your race. Ow. Put him down like the mangy dog he is. They caught us. I, I don't know how. The Mexican bandit. Morez? He captured us and took us to the white chief. Bars, babe. He traded me for horses. Just me. Father, it was I who led them to the medallion. I betrayed the Apache. It was not you who betrayed our people, my son. It was I who led us to our slaughter. You told me what would happen. For you are seen, Father, a true Apache. Ma'anbe. My son.
So William might still be alive. We gotta save him, Ray. The girl, the medallion, Juarez has everything he wanted. What the hell have we done? This place where you passed on is where I met you, Mother. For you see, she was my second wife, and you were my second son. White scalp hunters killed my family, and I avenged their murder. I raided the settlement and slaughtered every man, woman, and child. All but one, your mother. Her I took with me to take the place of my Apache bride. My hatred for the white eyes burned inside my heart. When I looked at you, all I could see was the color of your skin. You tried to prove your worth, but I could not see who you were until now. In this place where it all began, this day, my war will end. Running River will become Calm water. I love you, my son. Shazam. And I am sorry. And there is but one last thing I must do. Now wait a second. Just hold on. No! No! My faith is my shield. My faith is my shield. My faith is my... Enough! <laughs> Tell me how to use the medallion. Tell me its secret! My faith is my shield. You better talk before your brothers arrive. Because if you don't, we will capture them. And we will torture them. And for what? For the gold? You told me yourself that riches are the root of all evil. My faith is my Stop it! Look, this is impersonal. If not for you, I would probably be dead. You'll get your share. Your brothers as well. And Marissa too. There is enough for everyone. After all, are we that different, you and I? You hurt people. I don't. Oh, yes, Dad. You are so pure, so pristine, untouched by sin. Well, eventually everyone gets a little dirty, Miko. Even you. Why are you doing this? Why are you destroying my family? For the money? When I was 11 years old, my stepfather used me like a whore, and I let him, so he would give me something to eat. Juarez is no different. I hate him, and I need to be free of him, and I don't want my child to have such a father. You carry his child? I'm not strong like you or your brothers. I need someone who can protect me. <laughs> like Ray? I thought so at first, but then I realized it wouldn't change anything. To be with another man I did not love? Thomas? You love Thomas? Listen to me. Escúcheme. Juarez waits for your brothers. He wants his revenge. Take this. I don't want a weapon. I'm not a killer.
They will bring hell down on you with everything they have. We are outnumbered and outgunned. And I won't be there to cover your ass. Don't you worry about me. You just found William. Ray, back here in the Apache camp, I, I didn't tell you the truth. Not all of it, anyway. This ain't the time. I didn't plan to fall in love with her. It just... It just happened. Right now, the only thing that matters is William. You're right, big brother. Let's go get him. Free? Not exactly, muchacho. I was thinking about what you said, about the Lord and how he loves you. I thought if your faith is indeed your shield, what if you were to lose it? What if you became one of us? A sinner. What are you talking about? Santos, take your knife and cut his throat. What are you doing? I want to see if your God will protect you. shot, mijo. You didn't hesitate. You just took his life. Your brothers would be very proud. See, I told you that you and I were not so different. Maybe now you will tell me how to use the medallion, huh? Ah, your brothers have arrived. Good. They have come to save you. Speak, and maybe you'll save them. How do I use these to find the treasure? For silence. Then you will enjoy the silence of the grave. Your brothers can tell me what I need to know. Kill him! What have you done? You should thank me for ending his life quickly. I could have taken my time. Vete al diablo! Do you hear those gunshots? Your amante is here to rescue you. Soon I will take him prisoner and you two will finally be together. For richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live. Which will not be very long. What? I am with child. The question is whose child? It is yours. If that is true, then I will spare you, at least until a child is born. And then I will put you to work in my whorehouse, for that is what you are, is it not? A lying, thieving, gold-loving whore! Okay, let's do this, brother. Okay, let's look around. Hi! 
this one is knock. This will do. Gringo, you came for your brother. What do you need a dead body for? Don't get out of here alive, cabron! Take it easy. I ain't gonna hurt you. That's good horsey. Don't give me a hard time. You see him? Okay, oh. one more. afraid now.
I guess it's just you and me. Come out. Hey, gringo. I'll see you in the square. I've had enough of this blind man's bluff. <laughs> You're not going to shoot me in the back, are you? Well, Ray, now it's your turn. Thomas, don't ever leave me again. Never again. I love you. Ray went to get William. We gotta get out of here now. William is dead. What? What is killed him? Where is he? Where is the murderous son bitch? No, no, we must leave. Look, the gold is ours. What about Ray? We can't wait for him. Don't you see? This is our chance, our only chance. I can't leave my brother behind. You think he would let us be together? He would kill us both. But only William knew how to use that thing. Not only him. I grew up here, and I have heard the legend since I was a little girl. There is one candle, but three graves. The gold of Juarez belongs only to the brave. I know where those graves are. I can show you the way. Kill him! Dodged the bullet. I killed a man, Ray. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with defending yourself, little brother. His blood is on my hands. At least it ain't your blood. Let's go, boy. Thomas is waiting with the horses. Come on. On my sign, run to me and find some cover as close as you can. Now, now, now don't be afraid. Everything's going to be all right. You again? Jesus Cristo! Hide, ah. William! William? Hold on, brother. There he is! 
Let's go. Head over there. I got him. Be afraid. The Thomas is waiting at the gates with the horses. You keep your head down, I'll take a look around. You're dead! Son of a bitch! Where are you, Thomas? Father! Wait! Where are you, you asshole? If you're not, by God, you soon will be. Move it, William! Gotta blow the grate. Get behind some cover, William. Lord, protect us. Oh, Thomas, if you betrayed me, you better hope I never find you. That's a cellar. Come on. They stand! 
Now! Indeed I am, amigo! And I'm coming for you! You hear me? I trusted you! We could have done so much together! We could have been good friends! Wealthy friends! But you had to betray me! You and your fucking brother! So now you'll die in these dungeons! Come on! Wait for me! Down your throat! You came for her, huh? Well, you're too late! Hey, cabron! She betrayed you too, huh? Where's your brother? No. Some things we have no control over, eh, amigo? Ah, oh, Thomas. Hey, McCall! You wanna face me straight up? Fight like two men fighting for a woman. For Marisa. To make a right, huh? Looking for him. Let him be, Ray. Come on. I think there's something in there. Come on, I'll help you. <clears throat> Come on, he doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, he doesn't. Look, a way out. Protect us. God. Right. What's wrong with you? You're shaking.
Thomas wasn't at the gate, and Ray fought like a wildcat. We barely made it out of there alive. He was out of his mind and still out for blood. So I told him the secret of the medallion. I figured it was a fairy tale, but at least it would keep him busy. But it was true. It was real. The medallion led us to the entrance of an ancient vault. The door was already open, and I suspected why. Thomas. Somehow I just knew. I followed the faint light through a passage constructed centuries ago. It was right then and there I made up my mind. I knew what I had to do. I had to save my brothers. I told you what would happen if you stole another woman from me. William? You said he was dead. That is what Juan said. I told you what I would do. Didn't I tell you? Thomas, don't. He'll kill you. I loved you and you lied to me. Both of you. You betrayed me. What do you want from me, Ray? I want justice. Oh my god. so desperately to lead my lost brothers towards the light of the Lord. But I have failed us all. And now my brothers are mortal enemies. Why? For what? A woman? Gold? Maybe the time for talk is over. Maybe I can show them that there is something more important than pride and avarice and lust. I will not let you kill Thomas, Ray. It's none of your business. To get to him, you'll have to get past me. Out of the way! Ray, for Christ's sake, he doesn't have a gun! You know what I'm capable of, Ray. I'm a murderer too now, just like you. I won't tell you again, boy. Step away. I'm reaching on three. One. Do it! Two! No! Ray! No! I've never been one to be superstitious, but maybe this gold is cursed. How is it you're still breathing, Barnsby? I don't know. That Apache chief took his knife, cut my ties, and set me free. 
Not a word why. Wasn't too hard to follow your trail. Must have been the good Lord's will. This gold will help me restore the army of the Confederate States of America. Under my command, the South will rise again, and this time we will be victorious! Colonel, you've lost your goddamn mind. And I think the time has come for you two to pay the price for your cowardice and desertion. Marisa! God 
we'll protect the righteous. Or are you too cowardly to face me man to man? He's mine. There were three of us in those bitter days, and each of us would have braved the fires of hell for the other. No one could stand against us when we stood together. Three brothers. William, well, he was the best of us. A man of faith. He sacrificed his life to deliver me from evil. Like the Savior himself, dying for our sins. Like Running River, who spared the murderer of his own child. William wanted me to find the Lord, and in his sacrifice, I did. Oh, we left the gold. We knew it was cursed. I put away my guns and dedicated my life to serving the Almighty. I became the preacher my brother William always wanted to be and joined Thomas and Marissa in holy matrimony. William, I know you're looking down on us, and I want you to know your passing was not in vain. And though nothing is like it used to be, one thing remains, we are still a family. <laughs>